This is a very special episode of Anthony's Open Challenge, guys. I'm not competing, okay? What happened the other day when I was still in Norfolk, Zach, when I asked you very politely if you could make me a video? I was sitting there making a video, right? And I was just about to finish up the video and I was pointing out that Joe will be back soon and that'll be the only video I make. And out of nowhere, from behind, like the coward that that panda is, he hit me. He didn't hit me with his fist, not a chair, not your any usual weapon that you use nowadays. He hit me with a sledgehammer. Ouch. A sledgehammer. To the head, to the skull, to the cranium, right? Now, I don't know what you viewers think. I don't know if you guys like him, and quite frankly, I don't care. Because... <sighs> I can't tell you how fun this is going to be tearing that panda limb from limb. I'm just, oh, I can't tell you how much pain I'm going to cause this beast. I'm not even going to call him a beast. He isn't a beast. He's just a, a, an animal. Let me get one thing straight. I thought ages ago, back when I took on the panda, that I beat him. I thought I'd annihilated him. I thought I'd put enough punishment onto this panda that he ain't coming back to JTW. But no, that's not what happened. This panda took the beating from me and he thinks, you know what? Maybe I don't want to fight Joe anymore. I'll go for his best mate. So he attacks Zack. What's going to happen next? This panda, we go you know what? There ain't going to be nothing that's happened next. Zack, I want you to go out there and I want you to absolutely butter him to a pulp where he ain't going to come back. You think Wait. you can do that? I'm that confident that I will pin this panda with my foot on his chest, all right? You could count to 30, you could count to a minute. I don't care, he isn't kicking out. And I'm only gonna make one pinfall attempt. And that one attempt, that's gonna be it. Enough said. Our commentator, El Jantonio. El Jantonio here on commentary for this very special episode of Anthony's Open Challenge. John then is not actually competing, however, he has given this time slot which he would normally upload an Anthony's Open Challenge video to Zach to beat up and face the panda. Obviously, Joe was on holiday for the last few weeks, uh, he was actually away and his car broke down so he couldn't come back on this, like, the date he was meant to come back. So Zach made a video, but he was actually hit over the head with a sledgehammer by the panda. So Zach's here to get his revenge tonight. And here comes this buffoon. Oh, he's doing the floss. The, this panda is just... Oh, I don't I don't even know what you can say about him. This panda is just an idiot. Absolute idiot. He attacks people from behind, then gets his ass handed to him. In the match. Nightmare fuel. Panda, panda, you just suck. You you just straight up suck, panda. I want to I wanna see... I mean, I, I normally try not to be biased on commentary, but I literally just want to see Zach Rose smash this panda to pieces. These two squaring off in the Champa ring. Let's get this match underway. Ring the bell. And the panda cowering in front of Zack straight away saying, Please, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. What? Zack offering him in his hand. Zack, what are you doing? You're meant to be beating. Oh, no. Bill throw. Oh. Zack not taking that for an answer. You hit him over the head with a hammer. He's going to get his revenge either way. Kick to the back. And now Zack just going to be unloading these non-stop punches and forearms just to the head of this panda. He deserves everything he gets here tonight. Panda getting decimated. Oh, and a stomp to the midsection again. This panda is just an idiot. There's no two ways about it. Picking him up to his feet. The panda going to run at Zack and he gets clotheslined. Take that. Zack calling him back up to his feet saying, panda, get up. And Zack with a oh, one punch to the head. And a second punch to the head. And a third to the forehead. This panda drops to his knees. He not, he wants nothing to do with Zack Hero tonight. And Zack with a oh, Superman punch straight to the nose of the panda. Knocking him down. Zack telling him to suck it. Leg drop by Zack Rowe taking down the panda. Heel to the chest. The panda screaming in agony. Oh, and a kick to the head by Zack to the panda. Attacking me. Attacking me. 
Oh, and stomps to the head. This panda just wailing in pain. He deserves it. Zach's not going to stop. You shouldn't have hit him with a hammer. Zach and Giant are two completely different ball games. Both very angry and aggressive competitors when it comes to actually competing in a spear. Arguably, Zach likes to put more punishment on, but that's up for your matter of opinion. But Zach is going to punish this panda. Picking him up to his feet, what's Zach thinking here? And a second clothesline takes down the panda again. That bicep and forearm going straight across the chest of the panda. They suck. And Zach's one of the strongest competitors we have here in JTW, so any move he does is ten times more harder and oh, a choke slam. That panda must have gone eight feet in the air on that choke slam. He's back to it. No, he's not. He's not. He's dead. He, he's dead in the corner. This panda's not moving. Zach walking up to him. What's he think? Oh, and a shot to the ear. Pandas have sensitive ears, so that must have hurt even more. What's Zach thinking here? Gonna hit a running drop kick to the head of the panda. Wasn't the strongest of drop kicks, but it definitely connected. Zach picking the panda up to his feet again. Overhand punch to the back of the head and a single hand, one hand bulldog taking down the panda. Stupid. One handed bulldog. Stupid. Zach calling the panda stupid. <laughs> and wow. Hurling insults at this panda more than he's hurling punches. Maybe that's going to change second Superman punch to the panda. This panda staggering and Zach just pushing him back down to the mat. This panda really should have known what he signed up for before he went and attacked Zack Rowe. Very stupid of this panda. He hits Giant Any with a chair to start things off. Costing him, well, near, it did cost him a fall in his match against JD Bailey for the championship. This panda going to be firing up Sling Blade by Zack Rowe. It cost him a fall in his 3 out of 5 falls match. Oh, kick to the back of the head. Joe eventually goes on to beat the panda. Then the panda moves on from Joe and attacks Zack. And this is what he's getting in return. You went against Joe. Saying you went against Joe. You went against Joe. Smashing his head into the ring post. Like Joe. You're dealing with a completely different animal. No. The panda screaming no as Zack throws him back down to the, ring, the trampa ring mat. I am the god. You know it. Panda going for a low blow. No, Zach caught his arm. Zach Rowe caught the panda going for that low blow. Irish whip. Bouncing him off one of the posts. And a so another spear connected by Zach Rowe. Cutting that panda in half. He's just completely cut in half like sliced bread. As I was saying, you are dealing with a different beast. Panda's in agony and a second leg drop by Zach Rowe. This panda is in serious pain. What's Zach thinking now? He's putting his wrist to the floor. Oh, stomping on his hand. Stomping on the paw of the panda. Now he's going to stomp on his foot. He stomps on the foot as well. Now we're moving on to the... Oh, the left foot. And now the left arm and the left wrist. Oh, stomping on the hand. The panda's in pain. What's Zach going to do now? What can he possibly do to inflict more punishment on this panda? I mean, don't get me wrong, he deserves it, but Zach Rowe picking him up, Samoa drop, Panda's way a ton, Zach, such core strength being able to hoist that Panda up into the fireman's carry to drop him in the Samoa drop. I'm gonna bully you. Zach saying he's gonna bully you to the Panda. Panda's literally screaming in pain, getting kicked and stomped. He's pleading with Zach, Panda doing anything to... Stop this punishment, but it's not going to work. Another Superman punch, and the panda just dropped. He hasn't moved. Vertically dropped, and now Zach headbutts. Repeated headbutts to the, the head of this panda. Zach has been non-stop, just punishing. What's he thinking of doing now? What more can he possibly do to kill this panda? He said he's going to rip him limb from limb and Zack with another spear cutting him in half once again this panda going through a world of hurt here ladies and gentlemen and it doesn't look like it's stopping Zack gonna pick him up to his feet once again 
No, maybe not. Zach Rowe picking up that leg. I know what he's going for. He's got him in the STF. Oh, the STF locked in on the Panda. Will the Panda tap out? No, he's not tapping out. Zach lets him out. This Panda. Every single part of his body has been hit. Has been targeted here tonight. Zach making his promise. Or keeping his promise, I should say, sorry. Of literally decimating this panda limb from limb. This panda's up in the corner, Zach with a oh, rolling over, jumping, DDT connected to the panda, taking him out once again. The panda landed head first onto the trampering mat. I can smell an ending. Zach may be looking guys, to finish this soon. But there's no way that you are ever beating me. Zach also keeping his second promise. He hasn't even made a pinfall attempt. Zach said the only pinfall attempt he'll make is at the end and a Superman punch to the nose again to the panda. Right on, there, panda. Right on the Get button. Picking him up and a second. Oh, Superman punch knocking him down once more. This panda, I believe that is either four or five Superman punches in this match alone. Picking him up. Zach may be looking to hit this third in the trio and a third Superman punch completing the trio. Panda drops back like a flapjack. What's Zach thinking here? Just pin him, man. Just pin him. That's enough. You've destroyed him. You've proved your point. Zach. Gonna be bouncing. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Spear connected to the panda. That might be it. That's the final nail in the coffin to this panda. Go back to the forest. Go back to eating bamboo. Cover him. One, One two, two three. three. Zach Rowe has beaten this panda. That might be the most dominant victory in JTW history. I don't even think that Panda got a single bit of offense in. Zach Rowe just destroyed the Panda. Thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.